Now let us compare the Intel's newer G4400 Skylake processor with the Haswell G3258, the older processor. But primarily both of them are uh, low cost processors and let us take a look at some of their parameters. Uh, both of them are dual core with no support for hyper threading, but the Skylake processor has 100 megahertz of uh, base clock frequency advantage on the top of the improvement because of the processor architecture this would be 2 to 5 percent something around the range and the, this represents like a 3 percent advantage uh, from the base clock frequency. So, we are looking at something like a 10 percent uh, performance improvement in the uh, G4400 and the key thing is Intel has still priced it lower than the initial price of the G3258 which makes it very attractive because just for 464 dollar you get a decent processor not super fast not very uh, overclocking system but certainly not too low where with two, two, two cores at 3.3 gigahertz you can comfortably run most of the software that you want to run. Another advantage is we have a DDR4 it does not uh, run at a better um, data rate, but it runs cooler it it is only one it runs only at 1.2 volt versus 1.5 volts it will consume slightly low power. We also have some improvement in the graphics integrated graphics we now have HD graphics 510 versus Intel HD graphics I think HD graphics are 12 execution units versus HD graphics 510s I think some slightly faster. 12 or 24 units, but you need to check that. It looks like the HD Graphics 510 is certainly going to be better than HD Graphics. To what extent, frankly, I do not know at this point of time. So, given all these parameters, it looks like the uh, G64, G4400 Skylake is a much better uh, choice at this point of time for uh, inexpensive uh, system building. Thanks for taking a look.